just trying not to stress the birds out while we're doing some alterations inside the loft. Uh, we've removed uh, them perches now. I have been looking for these sloping perches for quite some time now, in fact for almost a year. Um, buying this brand new uh, is going to be quite expensive for me. So uh, luckily uh, Malcolm Greenwood, uh, our friend from Selby, has got some spare. So uh, there you go. I mean it's in really good condition. All it needs is just a good scraped up. Um, uh, we're jet washing it at the moment. We're not soaking it too much and then uh, it's going to be sunny in a bit. And what we plan to do is we might paint this if we get a chance really. So we've got a sprayer, so that'll do it. Just trying not to stress the birds out while we're doing some alterations inside the loft. Uh, we've removed uh, them perches now uh, from this section because the widow hood cocks are going to be uh, in this section. So the widow hood box is going to go on this wall. Um, that will be completely shut down apart from <clears throat> the source of ventilation so um the entrance however is going to be kind of here so we're going to drill a hole and um the 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 trapping system is going to be there which is the the sputnik so um yeah in the meantime we're just going to kind of uh, um take things apart so i know the birds are stressed at the moment but uh, this shouldn't take us long so all these widowed boxes are going to go into that section there on the wall um, and we're going to move the young bird section in here we've got a lot of sloping perches now and uh, it should go nicely against that wall facing over there so um yeah i know it's a bit of a pain <laughs> we keep doing a lot of alterations in here uh, but now we have the proper stuff that we can use so we can finally set up the widowed system right so we've done it now um, this section is now completely empty and all the birds are in that section for the minute so I know they're getting a bit stressed however um, I need to complete this section first this is going to be the young bird section uh, where we're going to put all them sloping box perches in that corner there and now here yeah, we have got the, uh, the widowed boxes which is um, in this section now and it's going to be facing that way we're only going to have about 10 anyway 10 um, widowed cocks so that should be no problem at all it's a bit of a slow progress guys but uh, we managed to get rid of the uh, the widow boxes from here and replace them with this uh, sloping purchase and um, yeah so so far these are good for 24 so we got 24 sloping perches um, here at the moment uh, we will be adding some more this side and uh, that should complete it up to about 30. now they're all up there um, installed and erected so it's looking quite good uh, it's gonna um, it's gonna have to be cleaned because it's quite dirty at the moment so uh, yeah they're facing this way um, out the door uh, because the aviary is going to be just here as you can see that we're going to uh, cut it open and we're going to put the um, the Sputnik trapping system that we have when we get from Malcolm Greenwood as well so um, yeah like I said uh, we're still thinking about painting it and it's a lot of work and I don't have much time so let's have a look inside the uh, young bird section for the minute here you go so the birds are calm at the moment so and um looking to your left here we have installed all of them here now so they're looking uh, more organized uh yeah, we got one bird in there we're not uh, we're not gonna bother it now so we're gonna leave it as it is so as you can see the cleaning here is gonna be even better uh, because obviously there's nothing in the way you know we don't boxes and such and such and um obviously the hand section is gonna go in that side and like a uh, right side and then that little uh, section we still have the widowhood boxes in there at the moment so what we're going to do is we're going to have to remove it and uh, we, we're, we will also be using the sloping purchase um, in that corner oh, this is hard work so we've got uh, just the one unit now to install um, in the hand section so but because we have this anyway so we'll, we'll be using these and um, we're keeping these uh, purchase here as well and um, yeah that'll be uh, the last one so the birds are all over the place here at the moment you can see them so we're going to be separating them at some point later and then um, no it's gonna get out of here it's getting a little bit dusty and um, we're gonna do the cleaning tomorrow 
like I said, the painting, uh, we'll have to do it at some point, and uh, we'll have to uh, <clears throat> put the put the uh, the birds in their uh, boxes, uh, training boxes, as we paint these. So we're gonna leave them in a half a day uh, for the fumes to come out, because uh, obviously it's not gonna be good for the respiratory. So, right, well, let's crack on with this one, and uh, we're gonna have a rest. Finally, we've done um, mostly everything that we needed to do today. Uh, we've swapped things over, we've installed those sloping perches and uh, I've been waiting for uh, those sloping perches for quite some time now because obviously I can't afford to buy brand new ones and um, being a newbie fan here, you know, yeah, it's got to be on a budget and look at that, it's, it's in good quality so that was worth waiting for. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go out now because the birds have um, been a bit, bit stressed uh, uh, with my presence so I'm um, gonna leave them alone and uh, let them settle down and okay now so we finally have the time uh, this morning so we've decided to uh, to start painting uh, the widowhood boxes and also the box perches so um, we chose this color it's like a kind of creamish color for a change so uh, we're gonna have a go just use the brush I was gonna use the uh, compressor but it's still a bit uh, early to make some noise so uh, we're gonna kind of uh, have a go with it using the paintbrush instead. Brilliant. Now we've done the painting of these Widowhood boxes and also I'm going to show you later on uh, the uh, um, the sloping perches as well. So we use the compressor uh, because obviously with <laughs> with all corners and bits like that it, it just uh, it just takes so long using a paintbrush. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go um, inside the young bird section. I'm going to show you <clears throat> what I've done in here. There uh, you go. So as you can see all the birds are out obviously so I put them in in the training boxes because of the fumes um, as they are already suffering from respiratory disease anyway um, <clears throat> and they're being treated so um, yes uh, so I took them out so they're not coming back in here until this afternoon. So uh, yeah we go over halfway anyway so we're going to double coat these uh, sloping perches as well. Just finish off a little bit of paint <clears throat> from the canister from the spray gun and then that should do us. Well the birds have been in the training boxes for the last two and a half hours now and uh, they're not really gonna go in there until the, the fumes are completely gone uh, from inside the loft uh, because it's you know I mean it's no good for them. Um, I have to wear respiratory mask as well so um, because of the fumes so if, if it's not good for me then obviously it's not gonna be good for the birds. Right well I'm pleased with that so it's, it's looking uh, very decent now uh, yeah, we know it's gonna get dirty anyway as such, but it's a it's more of a, a maintenance for the wood to prolong its life a little bit longer because you know you can't really keep changing this unless you have plenty of money because these things are very expensive. Yes, it's looking good so far, very good. So what we're gonna do uh, this afternoon is uh, we're gonna cut the uh, the door open and we're gonna install uh, the our uh, Sputnik. Finally the birds are back inside the loft and they're pretty happy with that after being out there for almost four hours. Um, yeah looking at this uh, sloping purchase it looks smart uh, that's you know that's the part so obviously we had to um, put the mesh on the top there as well and it's a few bits and pieces that we still have to do so that's th that'll stop them uh, hanging around on top of there and um, <clears throat> yeah we also did the same in the other section I'm just gonna open this up for you this is my bodge door it's not really a proper sliding door so we've got one there um, I didn't bother removing them purchase anyway so they'll come handy as well and yeah one in that far and co far and corner so this this is the hand section uh, we don't need a lot of space to be honest in the loft because uh, we're not gonna be keeping much birds and um, it looks a lot of birds in here at the moment because uh, obviously we just finished the young birds race and we didn't really lose a lot uh, not that we wanted to so you know unlike uh, uh, in comparison with last uh, last year's race so we lost quite a lot and we ended up with just uh, with just four left in the loft after a few minutes of drilling and cutting we finally did it so uh, we did uh, we framed it up from the inside as well because this is where this Sputnik 
is gonna go this point it came from Malcolm Greenwood it's practically brand new where uh, it's just uh, in good condition so it's a shame uh, to waste it so it's gonna go in there directly in front of the widowed boxes so as you can remember uh, the old entrance in the trap is actually just right behind in that tucked in that corner so for me uh, this is for me anyway that would be the wrong move to put the uh, the trap in that corner again Again, same with the sloping purchase. I've been obviously looking for uh, a Sputnik trap like this uh, for quite some time now. Uh, I know there are a lot out there that's for sale, brand new, but again, you know, they could around about 100 and 110 pounds. Uh, it's, a, it's a little bit steep for me, that is. So, uh, this we picked it up uh, from Malcolm Greenwood uh, at a reasonable price, which is really, really good. Nothing wrong with it at all whatsoever, and it's going to last us quite a long time. So yeah, uh, this is this is where it is. As you can see, you know, uh, it's, it's attached to the to the extra frame that's inside. Uh, we're not completely uh, finished yet, so we're gonna do uh, a little bit more tweaking uh, in here. So that's this is what they'll be, they'll be facing that way, because um, uh, it's facing the house. So that's the only way, the only option we have. And I don't want to put it in that corner over there because purely for the fact that it's. Um, when when the the widow cocks land on the landing board here, uh, I want them to be able to see the hens that are waiting in the uh, in the uh, widowhood boxes um, from a race. So hopefully that will work fine anyway. Another thing that we started to do uh, this afternoon um, is the aviary for the young birds. So um, uh, we've done this one in here uh, again. A few more tweak uh, to do. We've run out of woods and bits and pieces and um we're, we're off to work tomorrow so this is what i've started anyway uh this is where the young birds are going to be so it's a hen section it's a young bird section right next to each other um <clears throat> we're going to have a, a a slightly wider and higher and uh, longer landing board for the young birds and um yeah so uh, we're gonna have a quite wide door here opening as well so we can put the uh, the bath in it for the for the birds so they can have a bath here and uh, we're gonna cover them up, them grills, so that's gonna be removed once the aviary is done. And they will be replaced by um, uh, perspex sheets, I think, or something similar to that. So they can still have the light, um, and also at the same time, uh, the draft won't go in there in the winter. And um, when it's the, when it's a heavy rain, and it's not, the water's not gonna go in the loft. I think that's it for today, folks. So we've run out of, uh, of woods anyway, so we couldn't complete the project. And um, being the bank holiday Monday as well, everything is uh, everywhere is shut. So um, we're gonna, just going to uh, tidy up and uh, burn some uh, odd woods in here just to uh, you know, tidy up a little bit in the garden. And um, so I will show you next time, guys, uh, the completion of this project.